Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the mana source versus Donald Trump. Now the mana source is very vocal on issues involving Donald Trump. He is not a Donald supporter. And that's okay. However, when you use your own social media, which is associated with Magic the Gathering, to promote that you're happy that bad things are supposedly going to happen to the United States president, and he is our president. That is how the American system works. And that's the beauty of the system, right? You trust the system. You have to. Now, a lot of you are anti-government probably, but I think that the government is its a little too big, but it does have its benefits. So... Wedge says, I've always kept politics off YouTube and that will never change. Wedge at the manor source. So if you Google him, his Twitter does appear and you can see what his political leanings are. Now, one of the things that a lot of Wizard of Coast employees do is they put a description, and Meryl has done this as well, even in articles, especially about Mike Long, where he says, these are my personal opinions, and they don't represent Wizards of the Coast. And then they act like they are experts in certain areas where they are not. So when you have such a divided country, and America is very divided, I think you can divide it along the lines of Trump and anti-Trump. You cause friction. And this friction should not. And had, I played Magic for a long time. It's never been this bad. But the reason it is so bad, everyone knows everyone else's political leanings now. It used to be, oh, okay. You believe this, I believe this, let's just play a game of magic. Now it is bitter Twitter fights, it is um, tweets like this. And, you know, I've always said you never really want to take joy in someone else's sadness or pain because one day that will be you. And if you're willing to accept that and you're willing to take that sadness and that pain and that hatred even, then that's fine. But if you are not willing to accept criticism and you dis out criticism, in this case to our current president, then yeah, I mean, what do you expect is going to happen? Uh, do you expect that no one would make a video calling you out on this? Do you expect everyone would agree with your opinion? The answers to those are no or no. So, Weds at the Mana Source, which is the same Twitter handle as his YouTube channel, and in fact, if you really want to be honest, it's way more engaging and active than his YouTube channel has ever been, even at its most active stage, has uh, made these statements about our sitting president, Donald Trump. Magic used to be about magic. Uh, magic did not used to be about uh, what you believe or what you... It, it wouldn't be about this, right? It wouldn't be... When I play magic during Obama or Clinton or George Bush Jr., even, I guess, senior... No, probably was too young to play magic then, but around the Clinton years... Like, you would go to your game store, and my game store when I was younger was actually a official Wizard of Coast store that held magic tournaments. It was next to the J.C. Penney in the Exton Mall. I know you guys like uh, verification in detail, so there you go. I, I don't remember anyone talking about the president. Um, I don't remember anyone talking about politics. I just remember people playing magic and maybe it was because I was younger and maybe it's because I was more naive but today it's all about politics this politics that Donald Trump did this he did that and the affirmation that these opinions are not on YouTube when they're readily found on Twitter and Twitter is the only place that you are making content from our content at 
when you were giving a card to spoil a mythic legendary creature nonetheless and commander you spoiled it on twitter so when people from your youtube want to know what happened to you because you haven't posted in a month or two they're going to go to your twitter and they're going to see that you don't like donald trump and yet you assert that you're not that you always keep politics off and then the concept of anyone is free to follow or unfollow at any time no harm done it's a cop-out uh, it's a very common cop-out right and for the most part people are not going to call other people out i think one of the crazy things about our community is there's no choice we all we are politically divided now now there's no coming back uh, you have you you do know jeremy's political views you obviously know Tolarians, you know wedges you know, you know mine I'm very Republican, minus the issue of immigration, where I lean even heavier than... Uh, th so the story that I left out, uh, my parents came, my dad came here as a student on a student visa. Uh, Team and Square happened. George Bush Sr. issued an executive order that was approved by Nancy Pelosi. So if you don't know who Nancy Pelosi is, you probably don't follow politics very much. So there you go. Um, I love George Bush Sr. and I love, you know, Barbara Bus and so family, but I also follow Nancy because those two people had the biggest impact in my life. I was born in Shanghai. Shanghai had a very strict one child policy. I have a sister. I have a niece. I mean, I wouldn't trade anything for those. Um, so I'm very grateful. And I know who I owe, I know who I should be grateful to. So when you talk about politics and things like that, um, our game has become highly political. Uh, you see tweets all the time by Wizards of Coast employees on certain issues. Uh, the most recent one was on jobs. Should, you know, if you had a, underqualified female applicant maybe her resume is maybe she's right out of college and she doesn't know game design that much or and then you had a really qualified male applicant which of course will probably hire a female applicant according to twitter uh, now you also know a lot of things um, that judges sexual predator i mean this type of stuff is very political because some people believe in second chances i I believe that you owe it to figure out who an individual is, but once you figure out who they are, you there's no changing them. They have just too many years of that person. I mean, we have employees who steal, who stole from us, and no amount of uh, changing will change will will help. If an employee is late her first day, she will be late for every day for that month. As I found out, if an employee takes a two hour lunch break her first day, she will continue to take a two hour lunch break no matter how many times you tell her the lunch break should only be one hour. Uh, if an employee is like is steal stuff, um, she will steal your client list, she will steal your, I mean, she will do all types of really bad stuff to your company, and that doesn't change. So. I believe you should figure out and you should always go into it thinking the best possible scenario. And if you later identify that the person is not who you think they are, it's not worth spending the time to change them because I truly believe they cannot be changed. That's my beliefs, of course. Uh, yours might be different from mine and you might have a different set of experiences. Uh, when we, When I was really poor growing up, uh, people helped us. Um, the beauty of being so poor was you see the best in humanity and you see the worst in humanity. People stole from us all the time. And we, it's not like we would go to the police because, you know, oh, you store a $25 pot. You store pot as in cooking pots. So not the other type of pot. You stole our, or you sold us a lemon of a car. 
You're poor. What, what are you going to do about it? You barely speak English. What are you going to do about it? Um, so that is my bias. And I will always have that. I have that edge. I have that. Um, I want to hire a gas station cashier. And I would love for that person to be amazing. And I would love for the, um, the single mom to be amazing. And I give them every benefit of the doubt for 90 days. But after 90 days, you have very good, you have a very good understanding of who they are as individuals. Now, I'm not classifying all gas station cashiers or all single moms as uh, bad hires because they're not. There's some really excellent ones. And I would love to hire them. But individuals in individuals are individuals and that's how you have to treat them but after you identify who that individual is you no amount of retraining or no amount of being friendly it will change who they are that's my opinion bye guys <laughs>